Hello, I'm Dennis Wade, and we're at the Storage Visions 2013 conference in Las Vegas, Nevada, which is attached to the Consumer Electronics Show, which is one of the largest uh, worldwide shows of consumer devices and electronics. And I have with me right now uh, Radoslav uh, Danilek, and he's with Skyera. And it's a company that really has focused on 100% high-performance flash storage uh, for the enterprise markets and very high-performance markets, which probably puts him in all of the uh, industries, the entertainment industry, the uh, corporate industries, and a lot of the technology performance industries. And with that, I'm going to have Radloff explain a little bit about the company focus, the products, what they're bringing to the table in terms of service to the customer, and where they might want to go in the future in terms of uh, what they need to do in the R&D area to come up with future products. Radla? So our company is uh, designing enterprise solid-state storage systems and uh, you might say what's so new, there are many of them, but the key difference is that we are bringing uh, flash into mainstream because of much lower cost, in fact at price parity with disk-based storage system. To give you a practical example, uh, today enterprise storage systems are tends to be between 15 to 30 dollars per gigabyte. Uh, our product, what we announce, has list price less than 3 dollars per gigabyte uh, of native capacity and of course because we support compression and deduplication is first time in history bringing cost of effective cost per gigabyte of 100% solid state system under dollar per gigabyte which is comparable or below of many disk storage systems. It's very interesting. We've heard for the last two days here that the uh, dilemma really is cost and performance. Everybody wants the highest performance they can possibly have. They want reliability, uh, but there are some constraints on what they can afford to pay for it. And it sounds like Skyair has come up with a combination which really brings the cost down and still concentrates on uh, high and future high end performance for the uh, network or enterprise systems. Uh, where do you see this going in the future, and where do you what do you see your role as a company in, say, the next two to three years? So uh, we con will continue innovate and uh, we are planning to introduce products, uh, further mission critical products, and continue very aggressively drive cost per gigabyte. Because we reach the price parity with this base storage system, we expect that this year a lot of companies uh, will do the plan, will make the plans to deploy that uh, next year. Uh, in fact, uh, we have many beta customers, very large companies which they are testing this technology and uh, they are planning uh, to deploy them uh, in high volume uh, next year. Uh, are, I, I assume that you're active in uh, all the world markets, all the different continents, and uh, in, in different industries. Uh, any specific focus points on your industry background or your industry f markets? So at the beginning we started with non-mission critical product, which is currently available and is uh, selling to uh, beta early adopter customers. And uh, it focuses on big data because uh, very interesting things what we observe is that with lower price point new applications show up. And uh, big data was one of the surprising applications. So uh, the second half of this year will be focusing on more conventional enterprise and towards end of the year on content distribution because there are huge opportunities which previously uh, cost barrier did not enable. So, for instance, with the expanding cloud, and we've heard for the last two days on all of the different uh, applications that are going to cloud, your systems will, would be used uh, in those applications. So, in public cloud, we see two different scenarios. When somebody stores video and music and so on, the performance tends to be less critical because what is slow is your uh, wireless network. Now. Uh, 
However, the cloud is used as a method of delivery enterprise services. You can rent the capacity from like Amazon Cloud and others. And uh, what we see uh, as emerging trend that uh, the application providers in the cloud for the hosted application, they start offering uh, high performance solid state storage as additional premium cost tier. And there is huge interest. Actually, very interestingly, we have from uh, three continents, from uh, Asia, uh, from America and Europe, uh, customers, we are trying to deploy it specifically to serve their customers in the cloud as high performance premium storage to be rented to the customers. Fantastic. That sounds like something I think the world's going to need more and more of as we as we continue, because as, as we've heard in the last couple of days, with photographs, the entertainment industry, and some of the new applications, the demand for storage is phenomenal. Uh, are you, you're seeing some of the same things? Yeah, we see the same thing. Uh, and in addition to media storage, more and more uh, basically enterprise and small business is moving towards the model to host their application in the cloud, use the services and data processing services in the cloud, and they are willing to pay the premium for response times and performance. And uh, that seems like uh, that trend is picking up this year very significantly. Fantastic. Uh, Radloff, I thank you very much for your time and all your insight into your industry and where it's going and what we might expect for the future. Thank you. Thank you very much.